Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Kaylee, back with another episode of Docs and Dabs with Kaylee. I am your host, and it's 710, so you know I had to come on and say, what's up? Happy 710, y'all. It's time to dab. It's time to dab. All right. <laughs> This is the wax. I did, you know, have a little bit of this already because it's 7.10 and it's 7.10. What are we dabbing today? We are dabbing some wax that I picked up from Simply Pure, processed by Harvest, and it is uh, Sunset Waltz, which is a cross between Sunset Sherbert and Dog Waltz. It is a indica dominant hybrid and it's gonna put me right right where I need to be to wind down this day the way it needs to be winded down you know what I mean I'm winding down hopefully I'm winding down I think I'm winding down That's good, Dad. You ever scroll through Netflix and are like, damn, it's so much content? It's just like too much. It's just a lot. But I thought that I could share some of my docs and some of the docu-series that I did that are currently on Netflix. And some I think you should check out. So maybe check them out, if you will. Chef's Table. I love this series, y'all. It's not only shot beautifully, but I love how they integrate each chef's philosophy and how they execute that vision in their food. It's just, next one, wild, wild country, y'all. This doc tells the story of the Indian guru, um, I think his name was Badwan Shri Rajanish, and I know him as Osho. Um, but he also, they also talk about his personal aide, Sheila, and their community of followers in this Rajanishi um, community that was located in a small town in Oregon. Pretty much they took over the land and just had their own little, you know, community within this, this county. And it goes through a roller coaster kind of journey. Um, I dig it. So outside my life. So fascinating picking into what was something that I had nothing at all to do with just fascinating fascinating stuff my next guest needs no introduction with david letterman so guys check this out like david letterman is just he's just a great interviewer he takes his time he allows his space he lets it breathe and he manages to poke and prod in a way that doesn't feel like annoying um, he's had everybody on there from um former president barack obama um, Jay-Z, Kanye, Ellen, George Clooney. He just had a lot of great people on there and he gets very personal and I love it. I love it. Um, the Black Godfather. This doc is really dope. It's about Clarence Avant who like literally knows everybody. No, he, he, he like knows everybody and has had just a crazy incredible journey from a high school dropout to like an artist manager to an executive on a label to a radio broadcaster to a publisher to he's just like this insane negotiator he's an activist and yada 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 like the list goes on and everybody just respects this man and his hustle and his vision and how he executes he gets shit done um bbc earth series in general because nature is fucking amazing like what are you doing if you're not learning about nature i don't know fire festival the greatest f up that ever was i mean the greatest party that never happened that's the name of the doc not what i said before. it's just really appalling to me how people were taken advantage of mainly the people on the island mad issues with it you know how social media can just inflate a bunch of bs and people just buy into it and of course the star Andy King. Okay, now 13th. 13th has been on here for a while as well. Um, and it's just required viewing. It really is. Like Ava DuVernay connects the dots in a way that is just, it's heart wrenching, it's eye opening, 
it's anger inducing. You know, you have like activists, you have politicians, you have scholars, and they're all like examining all of the links that black folks have to the criminal justice system and the way the system just works. It's important for us to understand how this shit works, y'all, if we're gonna fight it. And she does a masterful job at connecting those dots. Check it out if you haven't. Cutie, okay, so Cutie and the Boxer is just a cute little film. It's, it is really about this kind of 40 year old, 40, I guess, year long marriage of two artists, um, Shinohara and his wife, Noriko, who they both are artists and it features their original work. But, you know, what's really interesting is the dynamics between the two, um, the complexities of their relationship and how quiet it is. I just, it's interesting how quiet. The, the whole remastered series is good, especially if you're into music and history, look no further. It's like, I don't know, eight parts or something. Um, but it takes us um, behind the history of like legendary musicians like Sam Cooke, Bob Marley, Jam Master J, the list goes on. It's so well done. If you're into music and history, check it out. All right, y'all, I don't wanna hear, but what about this? What, what about this? These are not all of my faves. These are some that came to the top of my mind that I'm like, hmm, I hope, I wonder if everyone's checked these out. Um, I think that they're pretty highly rated in my queue. Um, and I go back and revisit these a lot. So um, just wanted to share some of those with you. Again, my faves are not limited to this list. You know, I, Homecoming ain't on there, but I did a whole episode about her. Um, and there's just so many other docs on there that are really, really good. But if you haven't watched one of those on the list, take a moment. Happy Wednesday, happy 710, and I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Take another dab. Peace.